No mercy. See, if you handle it right, you have all the details right there. <clears throat> Depends on what you want to show up. We have to learn to get that brush going. A lot of people pick on me even. They are big brush, it's good to paint the house or whatever. But if you tame that brush, that's the same you tame a line. You can make the finest lines and the my, most figures. I get so many figures out of that brush. See, I will show you little figures now. Uh, then I use, see, I use a lot of paint. Tap green, a <coughs> bit of Taylor green is always a nice color in it. And here you see actually nothing, but you look at that brush. It is already, all the branches are there already. Can you see? See, I leave it open. I don't close the brush up. And then maybe here I would want to have one air, air, air. Loose branches. <coughs> Look at the beautiful branches coming in there. This is the shadow side. Then fire right into the water. You see? Fires right into the water there. Not too much paint. <coughs> And now we will, we will, we will, we will use, uh, see, the light is coming from this side. I will highlight this here. See? Then the light here is, that's in the shadow. You are the leader of light, and you make it happen. <coughs> See, on this side here, first I go dark. Uh, let me finish up. See, I got to finish up this in between now. Otherwise, when I want to <coughs> uh, blend it, then I need the power, whatever, 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 to do this right. So I will <coughs> say that tree is still here in the water. You see it here in the water. This is here, but that's fine. And this one like this. I will put a bit of uh, that yellow into the water too. See here, we, we put that in the water too. Here. There we are. See, now I use my big brush, a clean brush, <coughs> and I pull it down again very light strokes, and I make my side strokes before I go on with the rest, so they have that background done right. And now I use the fan brush, and watch what I do. I pull off the dark colors here. It's green, and <coughs> sap green, and tailor green, and a touch of blue. It's all in here, and I create a kind of a Look at that. See? You can have up upstrokes. Look at that. See the upstrokes? There's like three trunks sticking up. Then you 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 pull it down. I'd rather look for a bigger brush. A bigger brush will do a better job. See, I go into the paint now and pull it down. Into that paint there and pull it down. See, that gives you a nice pull. Hey, now I got it just perfect. And again, the side strokes. That's all. And you form yourself a, a shoreline there. I use, look what I do, I make myself an ochre color, orange, white, and a touch of yellow. So that's a good color for there. And I will have here on this side the sun shining. See? 
See, there is where the sun is shining. See? <coughs> Then here, here I will use a touch of blue and white. See, and I mix a kind of a bluish color and use that orange in two. See, whatever's the leftovers there, and I will, I will. See, that's in the shadow, <coughs> and this is in the light, and then I promote that light with, i show you, i show you. In order to really make it alive, I use white and yellow. Look how I do it, yellow and light. And I would say, well, you see the, the, the light here, I promote here a little bit of, See, fire it right into the water too. Isn't that wonderful? <coughs> and use that almighty big brush and make it really nice, very, very, very li light strokes and pull it back again. That's good. See, it gives you already a nice color there. And if you, you're unhappy, see, sometimes I see here more power would be if I have that little bit of dark in here. Can you see? Watch, I will show you how that works. See how, how much power you gain by just having that little bit of dark in there. See? Maybe here, let that bit of dark come out here too. Good. No, the big brush and that little bit of a pull that is always nice, and then we leave it. No, I have my background done. Little bit of water lines in the sun, after sun, the in the sun here, will be like this. See, isn't that wonderful? Oh God, what a wonderful way to be alive on this earth when you can paint like that. <coughs> and then you use a bit of a bluish white colors in the shadow side, see, like here. And you know, automatically when you paint like this, there is a kind of a tune popping up again. And you whistle or you, 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 you got that tune what bothers you sometimes. There's a happy tune, kind of a happy uh, harmonizing tune is blown into you. Now I will, I will use that big brush and fire in again dark, Taylor green, Zap green, and even a touch of black. You need all that dark first here a little bit. See, that's the shadow side. See, this, this, uh, this, this is the, but it, it, you don't worry about here, but branches hanging down, they have to be, you watch, see? You pronounce them good. There you are. See, they're hanging right into the water there. Then on this side, you do the same. And and there, uh, watch against that light, that dark. Oh God, isn't that something? But that's the light side again. I will show you how we handle that after. See? You need a dark in order to show light. Without dark, there is no light. Sometimes it doesn't make sense when you say that. There is no light without dark. But when you paint, then it makes sense. It doesn't make sense when you live and say there is a few. Do you want to experience the magic of oil paintings? Learn to paint the Alexander way. Visit www.alexanderart.com to find a certified instructor near you.